Hey everybody, this is Peter247, and I've got another Atlas tutorial for you to take a look at. Today's topic is moving troops from your Primarchs back into your barracks. It is very foolish to leave a fully loaded Primarch sitting on your castle. It not only attracts enemies to your castle that are glory hunting, but it also sets you up for failure as it is quite possible that you could go over your revive pool and waste unnecessary troops. To show everybody how to do this, I've loaded up my Primarchs to very large numbers, which normally I wouldn't load them up this high, but I'd like to show everyone how to do it. This is something you do not want to do. Right now I'm sitting on one of our castles, so I want to do this as quickly as possible. My ultimate goal is to have all three Primarchs looking like this, around 5,000 troops on them. Depending on where you're parked and what your assignments are, that may vary, but that's a topic for another day. Today I just want to show everybody how to put those large amounts of troops back into your barracks. In our quest to bring down the amount of troops on our Primarchs, this is our best friend the fighter. The first Primarch you get when you start Atlas. Now, when the fighter turns level 5, you're able to get a Destroyer, Taunter, Trapper, or Sieger. I recommend you do not level the fighter past level 5. So I have all three of my Primarchs at the same castle. I'm going to go to the Manage screen, go to the Primarch list, click on transfer and send all of the troops on each of my Primarchs or as many as possible onto my Tonner. The Tonner can hold the most troops out of all of your Primarchs. Once you've moved as many as you can over to your Taunter, now I'm going to set the castle to home and I'm going to summon a fighter to replace my Taunter. And since the fighter can only hit can only hold 15,000 troops at one time, and my taunter currently has 270,000, the excess amount of troops that will not fit on the fighter will automatically move into my barracks. Once I'm done that, I'm going to repeat the process. Instead of the fighter, I'm going to summon my taunter who can carry the most amount of troops. I'm going to transfer all of the excess troops onto that taunter and then I'm going to summon the fighter to replace it again. So in doing this, since in the beginning I haven't leveled my fighter to the maximum level, the total amount of troops I will have out is 15,000 or around that number and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to summon back the Primarchs I want to have out and I'm going to distribute the troops evenly. Please note that when doing this your Primarchs need to be fully summoned before you can manipulate the amount of troops that are on them so you may have to use diamonds or timers to speed up the process. So now that I'm done all of this the amount of troops on my Primarchs looks very decent and I'm not going to get yelled at by my leadership telling me I've got too many troops on my Primarchs. And we're set to go. Thanks for watching and I hope this helped.